parties are influenced in this case. They've been doing it from the gallery in this courtroom. They've been doing it outside. <clears throat> this is what a, a public lynching looks like in the 21st century, with all due respect. They don't have to have 10,000 people outside. They don't have to have 100,000 people outside. Perception is reality. We have, we have sealed these jurors off. We hope we have. We have sealed them off. And it doesn't matter how many people are outside. It doesn't how violent they, they appear to be. It doesn't take much. Just because they haven't put a, a gallery up, uh, uh, what do you, they haven't put a podium up outside with, with a hangman's noose on it, doesn't mean that this isn't a trial, despite the best efforts of this court. This isn't a trial that's been infected by mob violence of a woke left mob. And whether people realize that they participated in that or not, I'd like to think that the vast majority of the people outside this courthouse really have no interest in anything but justice. I, I want to believe that. I, from a lot of the people I know out there, I think that's true. But the perception is the reality. And the media have fed that perception and created a reality, whether it's true or not, just like other people have created a false narrative. And the falsity of that narrative has been made very apparent through the trial of this case. That becomes the reality. This is what a mob-dominated trial looks like in the 21st century, and we're asking for the mistrial. All right, the uh, court, having heard from the move-ant as well as the parties, uh, denies the motion for mistrial. Uh, I think. All right, the uh, court, Having heard from the move-ant as well as the parties, uh, denies the motion for mistrial. Uh, I think the court's position has been accurately stated previously. I thought appropriate, given the mistrial filed, that um, we have it on the record. We're going to take a lunch break. <laughs>